So now, in this lesson, we will learn how we can create an emissive material. An emissive material is a material that can produce a light, that can emit a light. So let's see how we can do that. Now here, top in this uh, uh, like scene, by the way, this scene is already, uh, the, the link to download this is given in the description below, so you can download this. Here we have some tube lights here. Now, these tube lights are not emitting any light. So what I will do here is that I will go to my content drawer here, first of all, and I will search for my uh, folder here called Other Meshes, and inside there I have tube lights material. Now, this tube light material, I will apply them one by one on all of these, just like this. Now, it looks like a tube light material, but a tube light when they are off, when they are not on. So this is how the tube lights actually looks like when the uh, when the tube lights are off. How I can make them look like they're on and they are emitting light. So let's see. Let's go to this tube lights material here. And now I'm inside the tube light material. It's a very simple uh, like material where I have a white color and put it in the base color. Then I have this 0.3 value of the metallic and 100% uh, like glossy because the roughness is set to zero. Now here I have emissive color. So what I will do is, uh, is uh, here is that I can take this same white color and connect this to emissive. As soon as I will do that, and save this, okay, and let's stop this here, and go back here, you can see that it has started to emit light. Now, it's not emitting a lot of light. I wanted to make it look uh, like it is emitting a lot of light there. So, what we can do is that, you can go to the tube light, I will press here uh, 1, Right click on it, convert to parameter and call this light intensity. And then I will press M on my keyboard, click it here to get the material for multiplication. So I will take this uh, white output, put it, uh, like connect this to, to the A, take this parameter and connect it to the B. And the result of this, I will connect it to emissive. And then I will save this one. Once this is saved, what I can do is that I can go back here, right click on my tube light intensity uh, material and create this uh, instance of this. Once this is done, I will take this and drop these to my tube lights. Okay, so let's do that here. Oops, the one is left, I guess. Done. Now I can click it here or move it here somehow. Uh, yeah, like undock it. And then let's first, uh, let's do one thing first. Let's deselect everything. Okay, now. If you will see, there is a light intensity option and the light intensity is zero. If I start increasing, you can see the light intensity is increasing. Okay, so this is how you can make, uh, you can increase or decrease this light intensity. But, uh, let's close this, but this doesn't mean that you can uh, use this as a light source. This is not an alternative for a light source. You can put now a... Uh, area light underneath that, okay, which will be the actual light source. So this emissive uh, light source is basically uh, like material will be, you can say, a supportive material for any light. So it will look more realistic. Otherwise, if you will put any normal light material, it will not look that realistic. Okay, so you can use these emissive light materials as a supportive material, but not actual light source. So let's uh, put this here. 
Okay. And I can use this barn door angle. Length this much and somewhere like this. And I can push it a bit. Up like that. Okay. Now it looks more realistic. Okay. So this is how you can create a, uh, a light material here with the help of like emissive material as a supportive material. Now another uh, uh, another material that we can create is for the screens, like a television screen. So let's do one thing. Let's uh, hide this light here and also these tube lights here. Okay. Let's go to my screen and apply the screen material to it. Uh, uh, let's see how we can make a emissive screen material. To make an uh, emissive screen material, first of all, I will create a blueprint screen, uh, like a blueprint material here. Let's see how we can do that. Now, don't get overwhelmed or don't get scared of the blueprint. Blue, it's, it's a very easy process. So uh, what we can do, right click it here on in, in any empty area. Okay, and once you have it, you can go to the blueprint and choose blueprint class. And once you will do that, we will choose blueprint actor from here. This will create a blueprint actor on your uh, screen here. You can rename it to whatever you want. I will rename it to screen, okay? underscore BP, BP uh, for blueprint. Once this is done, I can dub, uh, double click on this one and it will load a uh, like a uh, empty uh, screen here or uh, here. Now what we need to do is that we have to just go to the add button here and choose here the, in the component add then static mesh and here we have to load the, the like TV screen here. So I can type here TV screen. I can rename it to the TV screen here. Done. And now I can search for my television screen here uh, and, uh, uh, and drag and drop here. Or I can go to my... Uh, like content uh, browser here's my screen and drag it here and now if you will see it is applied on uh, the screen here okay now I will press compile it is saved and now I will go to the event graph now don't get scared it's pretty easy to do that what I need is event these are events basically like how uh, how you interact with this uh, with your uh, Unreal Engine. So that's what you have it here. I don't want these two events. I only want one event, and that event is pretty much easy to uh, ex like. It's pretty much self-explanatory. Like it is event begin play. So it. Uh, Whenever your scene will, uh, will begin playing, it will show you event begin play. Okay, it, it will just uh, start your event. It will just start the blueprint. Our blueprint will be, our event will be to start a video to play. Okay, now before to do uh, moving further, what I can do here is that I can right click here, go to import and go to video and import a video here. I have this video, which is Atari. I have uh, Atari video space in where this video I have it here. I will just import it and it will import as a video here. So now I know I have a video. Okay. So if you want to see the video, you can double click on it and you can see how this video will be, uh, it, how it is playable and other stuff you can do with it. But I don't want to change anything. I will use it as it is. So here I have the event blueprint uh for the video. Now what I will do, uh, once this is done, I will go to the variable options here and I will press this plus button. Now what are the variables? Variables are uh, the items that you want to interact with this event. So 
I will just press here uh, plus button. Okay. And then I will choose, uh, I will, uh, once I will have a, a variable, I will call this variable a media play. Now what this uh, what this will do is that it will be a media player basically. A media player is what a media player is something that uh, plays your video. So I can go to the content uh, drawer here, right click here, and then I can choose a media player here. I will go here in the media uh, option and choose a media player. Now. Uh, it will ask you additional assets to create a link to media player, video output, media texture assets. So you can just check on it and press OK. And here is your media player. OK, I will keep it as it is. I will not, oh, I will not change the name. I will keep it as it is. And here is my media player. And now if you will see, there is a new media player underscore video. Now, if I will double click on this one, OK, and you can see that it is showing me a display two by X, something like this, okay? So if I zoom it here, it is showing me uh, the zoom version of this. So I will keep it uh, as it is. I will not change anything here, just close this one. And here in the media player, if I double click it here, you will see I have a black screen here. Now, what is this black screen? This is basically this Atari video automatically it detected the Atari video and it applied uh, on it okay so I will just uh, close this one as well now uh, here is my media player and I will now click on this media player and what next I have to do is that I have to set up its variable type now the variable type is boolean but I don't want the variable type to be boolean I want the variable type to be media player so if I will type here media, okay, and here I have a media uh, a player option here, okay. So I will search for media player uh, somewhere here, this one, okay. Oops, so let's, uh, let me type it again. Media player and here is the media player the object types and it will now become the uh, the variable will become a media uh, like a media player okay now what do we need is that we want the default value uh, so let's compile this one and when I will press this compile button it will give me a media player default value here now what I need to search here is the screen, basically my new media player. So this is my new media player, which I just created, if you remember here. And when I created this, the, uh, in, the imported video automatically uh, was connected through this. So this is what I need to choose from here. So I, I have only one. And once this is done, now once you will uh, add it here. You can press compile again. And this, the media player, the variable that we created, now it's time to drag and drop it here and connect it to the event uh, play. So what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to, let's put this here and then drag it here. And now it will give me two options. So I, uh, so I will choose get media player. And once I'm done with this, let's move some, because I, we have to connect this to open source. So what I will do is that I will just press tab on my screen and choose a node which is called open source. And okay, I think uh, we cannot get the open source here. So let's un uh, uncheck this one because uh, it will only work if you are typing uh, all capitals, like small cap, uh, like it, it will be case sensitive. So uh, that's why I will uncheck this so that I freely write whatever I want. So now I got this open source before now I was not getting it and I will choose this open source. Now this will go to the, you can say this option 
okay and this one will go to the target and after that we can save this compile it now once you have done that you will see there is a media source select asset if i click on asset it will show me the atari file only because these are the only we uh, like this is the only video file i have it i will choose this one and i will come for save and compile again okay now what i will do is that i will go back uh here see my screen material this is the screen material that i'm using basically right now but instead of this screen material i have to uh like instead of this screen now okay i want to use the one that i created this uh like blueprint one okay so first of all what i will do here is that i will simply check what is the name of it this its name is screen okay so that's i know and i will take this one drag and drop somewhere here into the screen and now i will copy all the values from here and paste it here so it i will go to the screen go on the top and first of all location so i will press shift on my keyboard and right click with my mouse on this location so it will copy the value of location then i will go to the screen bp shift and left click my mouse over here so it will paste that value so i will go to the screen same thing shift right click on the rotation screen bp shift left click on the screen rotation okay screen uh then shift right click on the scale then screen bp shift left click on the scale and exactly it is meeting that now i don't need the screen i can delete from here and now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to go uh, first of all if you will see the screen bp it is actually uh, it should be using the same uh material this one the screen material okay to for double check oops what i'm doing i do okay you have to make sure the screen material where is that screen material i think this is the one maybe yeah this should be the one let's see now this is the one so i can take the screen material and drag and drop on the screen pp okay so just to double click uh, like just to double check what it's using so i will double click on the screen material here and then what we need to do i don't need this cha huh? let's see let's save this one yeah okay now because here we cannot use the same a uh, constant we have to use a different content here and that is basically uh, a screen uh, we have to change this and uh, use a different sort of a input for the base color so what i want is the texture sample so i will this time i will not press 3 and click it here okay i don't want to do that i want to press t on my keyboard and then click it here and when i will do that i will get a texture sample not the constant way, uh like vector here so now what uh, what i want to do is that i will go and connect this to base color and when i will do that it will give me an error why because there is no texture being set up here so to set up the texture what i need to do is that i will go to this uh texture sample here and i will choose my uh like media player uh from here so i will go here and choose my new media player video and use this as a texture here now this uh will become my uh texture uh here so i will apply this before before doing that i will save this one okay and then this should be applied here and now you can see it is already loaded here let's uh, save this and if i will go 
to my let's put this here so that we can quickly go back and forth now you can see it's there if i will press play and you can see it is showing but the issue is that it is rotated so what i need to do is that let's stop this uh i can go back here in the screen and if i will go to uh if you remember last class we learned about how we can rotate a material here so simple what we need to do is that we have to press tab here and make a custom rotator here so once i have the custom rotator i will connect this to this uv option here and then i need a two constant variable option for the uh for my like rotation center okay which uh, i told you about that it have to be 0 0.5 0 0.5 and then it should be connected to this okay and then for the uvs i need a texture coordinate so where is the texture So this is hard to find. Yeah, here it is. And then I will connect this to here. Okay, and now I what I need is the rotation value here. So I will press here. One. And let's choose 0.75 just in case. Say. Yes, this is fine. So now if I will play this one, you can see it is playing. Now video is uh, not fitting basically here. So what we can do is that we can create a like a tileable uh, like tiling uh here because we don't have any sort of a tiling okay so let's put these somewhere here down and then what i can do is that i can make a uh two constants here for convert this parameter to u tile v tile And then I can append them. And then what I can do here is that I can simply multiply this value, this value, and put it in the UV here. Okay. And what I'm going to do here is that instead of one, one, a zero, zero, I will put this to two, save this. And if I play this, let's see how it goes. Now, I do have this U tile, V tile, okay? Uh, but the issue will be that we, ha uh, we can tile it up, but, it will, but the screen will actually move. So if I will save this one, and if I will go here and play this, so you can see uh, nothing is appearing. The reason is that because the value here, the two tiles are right now showing this part, not this part. So that's why we need actually an offset also, if you remember that we worked in the uh, last uh, class. So uh, 
here what I've, uh, I will make sure I have this converted into parameters uh, like util and vtil converted into parameters and this one also I will right click and convert into parameter and call, and I will call this one rotation angle and now I will create two different constant value by pressing one key on my keyboard and clicking here you will get these and right click on them convert parameter and I will call this one uh, you can say X offset and this one I will convert this parameter and I will call this Y offset I want to append them just like what I did for the U and V tile here T tab append the vector and I, I will connect these two together now I want to add this value of offset with the value of these so I will tab press tab and I will press write add here join this one join this one and put this one somewhere here okay now let's uh, give it a value these two so that at least well, it will offset so I know what value there should be so maybe minus 0 0.45 and you can see that it is moving okay let's see if it is 2 2 yeah and then uh, for the y offset I will make it minus 0 0.8 okay I will save this one and yeah now if you will see now if I will press play now it is you can see that it is rotated as well and it is right in the screen and it's playing very nicely here everything is fine now what we can do here is that i can go here okay right click on it and create this as an instance and i will call my atari uh, atari uh, atari underscore screen okay but if I will uh, go to my Atari screen and if I will do any changes here, for example, so it will not apply any sort of changes here. Can you see that? The reason is that because this Atari screen ha uh, has to be applied on the actual screen uh, like uh, you can say actual screen mesh which is this one if I double click on this actual screen because this this is uh, like this screen that we have right now uh, here is the screen uh, screen of uh, like a blueprint screen this is not the actual the actual screen is referring uh, is has become the reference for the screen blueprint so if I will double click on the screen uh, the actual screen here is my actual screen material and here I want to apply the Atari one on this save this one now as this is the reference for the blueprint so now blueprint is taking the same reference now if I will do some changes you can see that it is going to be applied okay so but I don't want that because everything is fine and if I play you can see it is working okay now one more thing I can do here is that if I will go back here to my screen of uh, material that I was using this is the one okay and here I will press tab on my screen and multiply it You can press M also and I will press 1 and click here for the value. And I will make it as a convert as a uh, parameter and call this screen light intensity. And the value I will give it to uh, like a default value. I have to put it here like 1 will be default value for example. Okay and I will connected this here 
this RGB, I will connect it to A, and this result, I will connect it to the emissive color. So if I will press save here, and you can see it has started to emit light. Now, if I will go to my content drawer back here and go to my Atari screen, put it down here somewhere, and here I have now the screen light uh, intensity. If I increase, you can see that it is increasing on the screen as well, just like that. And now you can see if I will press this play button, so it is acting like it's actually the actual uh, screen. And for more uh, better result, what you can else do is that I uh, can go here. I can give it a a constant value of uh, something like a uh, 0.7 or maybe you can say 0 0.5 for the metallic. So it will become a little bit reflective. I think point should be a little higher, maybe 0 0.75. And for the roughness, I will keep it zero here because it's a screen, it's, uh, it's a glass material. Save this, okay? And then you can see that if I will press stop here. So it is more reflective and also glossy. So I hope this part is more clear to you all and you can uh, view this. By the way, when we will animate this, this will actually animate it. You don't have to uh, keep on pressing play from uh, from here. This is basically for the simulation. Uh, when you press play here, it will start uh, like, like simulating. Okay, And you can move around your scene with the... Uh, right mouse button and with the AWSD uh, keys on the keyboard you can go back and forth. Q will go down, E will go up. So these uh, keys you can use but if you want to come out of this mode what you can do is that simply is press escape on your keyboard and you will be out of this mode. So I hope you have enjoyed this lesson here and learned a lot more from for these immersive screen. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do it now and don't forget to hit the bell icon. By the way, I have noticed that many of you are watching my videos without subscribing. So let's change that. Subscribe to my channel and be the part of the interactive community. Now, here's something really important I want to talk about. Please do not download my videos, just watch them online. When you download them, it messes up my watch time hours. And that's a bummer. I want to keep creating awesome videos, but it's demotivating when I lose out on those stats. Thanks a bunch for your support. You guys rock. Catch you all in the next video.